All right, hey everyone, Two-Tone here. I've had people ask me to just show more general gameplay videos, uh, and I decided, well, might as well freaking do a live commentary on it to see what, so you guys can see my thought process and check out my mistakes as I make them, because I'm not a great duelist in, by any stretch, but I play a lot of Spiral, and I can hopefully teach you something about how I play Spiral. And if you see my mistakes, that's good. That means you're learning, and you're probably better than me at some point. All right, so we'll go first. Come on, let's go first. I want to go first. Okay, well, I lose the first coin flip. That sucks, but we'll see how it goes. I am running for Bidden Drop Sticks. I'm running the Protoss variant. I probably should have showed off the deck list at the start, but I am running the Protoss variant that you saw in my most previous video. I'm thinking about swapping off of it because uh, I've been seeing a Runic so far. Man, this hand would have been great going first. Holy heck. Souls plus Resort for Quick Plus plus Call By plus a Danger for ex plus the Big Red already in hand and a Danger for Extension. This is this is about as good a going first hand as you can ask for. Okay, Virtual World. I don't know if I can break the Virtual World board. They don't have VFT anymore, but they're going to have Shin Shin which completely destroys Master Plan. So I'd have to, like, go into Cerberus first. So I'd, like, I, I would Soul, set Big Red, set Resort, Nessie into a Danger, discard the call by to Cerberus pop something, Resort, add Quick Fix, normal Quick Fix, summon Master Plan with Big Red, like beta interaction with Resort on Quick Fix. Then you go Big Red for Master Plan and then like Unicorn and Combo from there. That's like my that's my idea right now with the hand I've got. We'll see where they get to. I mean they're a they're a virtual world deck. They should be able to set up like Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon at the very minimum, so I'm gonna need more than just this to beat it. Yeah, it should be Shin Shin plus Crystal Wing bare minimum, which I'm not sure I can beat with this hand. If I draw a Forbidden Droplets, I think I went off the spot, but they're, gonna, they're also gonna have Chuchi, which means like the Shinshin's the big problem, because it stops me from doing master plan plays. Alright, it says from field to graveyard. Any card sent from the field to the graveyard is banished and said. So I can't even send my big red off my soul's draw card, which is rough. And I can't activate my master plan under Shinshin if they have Crystal Wing. Because I'll just Crystal Wing it, obviously. So I'd have to, and I can't link off master plan to get her effect because of Shinshin. Tough, 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 tough. Um, I could, like, Souls. Okay, well, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Sometimes your opponent just quits. I wish I could have shown what was going on, but that's... If you want realistic gameplay, that just happens sometimes, I guess. Let's go into game two. This is the deck, by the way, just in case anyone's uh, curious. And I'm probably going to change it up sooner or later, because Protoss... I've been seeing a lot of Runic, and Protoss isn't good in the Runic. I'd probably, like, maybe try a Deteria Beast deck, or a... Um, Deteria Beast plus something else, I guess. Plus a Curious play of some kind, because you don't need Curious to do Nateria Beast. And that is another coin flip boss. I do lose a lot of coin flips. Uh, that's... I don't know why. I, one time I was recording it in the Discord, and I'd, I'd, I've, my worst coin flip boss streak was 22. And my worst season, because i I gotten tired of it, I decided to track it. My worst season was a 28% win rate on coin flips over the course of, I think it was uh, 100... 50-ish games. I didn't... I, I got rid of the, the data because it doesn't really matter. It's just me complaining. Uh, this hand's obviously busted, but I'm going second, so who knows. It's a uh, it's drone agent combo and souls revive combo, but I'm playing against floodgates. Okay, well, maybe not. Maybe they just bricked. We'll see where this goes. I mean, Danger's, Danger's not a bad draw going second. Good extension. So I'm going to open up with Resort. I'd like to resort for Agent here, because I want to pop back row. See what they do. I'm just going to activate this. They probably have a Maxi in hand if they bricked. So I'm just going to have to play through Maxi. Add Agent. Droll? Nope. Okay. I can play it through Droll a little bit. I mean, they, they could, their back row could just be activatable for all I know. Maybe Skill Drain or something. Maxi on top. It's a runic deck! Okay, so these are probably just some dumb quick play spells. Uh, so you want to put a spells on top. They're playing Maxi, too. So you want to put spells on top because if they shuffle their deck somehow, uh, it's very likely to be spells. So I'm going to put a spell on top. Activate call spell. Chain Maxi. Yeah, figured. Uh, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Just Maxi Turbo. I'm still going to try to kill him. So it's going to be Spell, Spell, Monster in a second, so Super Agent Summon, Spell Drawn, there's a spell on top of the deck, 
Activate super agent. Pop. Dogmatica punishment. Why wouldn't you activate that? Oh, you can't target. Duh. So now there's going to be a monster on top because of Maxi. Is a solemn judgment. The monster on top right now with Maxi. Okay, call monster. Okay, so I want to typically summon Master Plan here, but I think Quick Fix is just better. Let's just summon Master Plan so I can uh, chain blocker with a nightmare. So I'm gonna summon Master Plan now. I don't need to know my opponent's top card anymore. I resolve the two effects that do, that matter. I'm gonna see if I can bait an Ash if they are holding on to it or something from that first Maxi. Nope, okay, sick. Alright, so now I can just uh, go into Souls. They might be playing one... If they're playing Maxi and Runic, they might be playing like one... Um, I haven't... Uh, they might be playing... Oh, I should have gotten the Assault mission, but I, I guess I have a uh, Monster Reborn in hand, so it's not that big a deal. Like, this is Torrential Tribute or some dumb crap. I don't want to get rid of my res uh, Resort, even though it would draw me a card, because they might have a, a targeted Trap... Gonna draw a card, just one. Get that in the graveyard. Sick, okay, that's great. So I don't want to use this jet, because I don't want my double helix to not be a um, spiral name anymore. Or to be a super agent name anymore. So I'm gonna go straight into Nightmare Phoenix to pop this last back row. And shape block our master plan. Discarding Nessie, the perfect discard in most situations. Because uh, it keeps cards in your hand for further nightmare plays. But, uh, you know, missions are obviously good to discard, too, but I love the dangers. My problem here is, like, what hand traps do they run in Runic, right? Target one special summon card, destroy it, then banish top cards. So, okay, that could actually be a problem. I probably, maybe I should have seen this coming. Let's see what they banish. If they banish important cards, I might lose. If they, like, banish double quick fix, okay, call by Tsuchinoko, it doesn't matter. Draw a card from my deck, yes. Master plan, add sleeper, yes. Okay, let's see if my opponent has any uh, more in interactions. Nessie, add another, yeah, see, spiral, man. Just add so many cards. Okay, so they got something, and it's probably Ash Blossom if it's responding to this. So I do need to get a, um, like a, uh, I don't know, an Appaloosa into play. <laughs> Sick, they Ash Blossom the Nessie. Okay, so I just need to make sure, if they're running Ash and Maxi, they're probably running Nibiru. So I need to get a, um, I need to get a Appaloosa into play fairly quickly and then go to Axis Code Talker. So the wh way we're going to do that is activate Resort. Okay, they didn't do an Imperm or anything, that's good. Activate Resort. Add Quick Fix. One for one Quick Fix for Quick Fix. Ooh, interesting. I should still be able to win this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so if they drolled me... Okay, so can I... I can... One for one... Monster Reborn doesn't mean anything with Quick Fix in the play. So I, I need to make Selene. I need a rescue mission. I need to keep a super agent on field. Because I'm not going to be able to revive them ever again. So I need to do my Quick Fix plays... First... Because I can't assault mission them in, so I have to do this. Quick fix summon, quick fix. I don't even need the slash resort anymore. Yeah, I can't. I can't add this quick fix, and it's gonna be better than salt. So yeah, can't add anything. But my opponent's under droll too. So if I just, I, I just need to make access to talker. They're dead. They have no responses. They're just dead. Why are you droll yourself under maxi? Wow. Maybe it's their last hand trap, and it doesn't matter. Um. I guess. Quick Fix is the best rescue mission target here because it can turn into more material. I don't care about the top of their deck anymore. But what we can do is just like stuff like this. We can link Rebo off a Quick Fix. Oh, they can't have, they, they don't have Nibiru too. Oh, they have Imperm. They can start targeting now. So I can't beat Nib, so I need to get out enough attack 
value to win under imperm. Um, okay, so it's a quick fix, quick fix discard resort. That can make it two. Quick fix plus quick fix. Uh, I can discard last resort. Yeah, yeah, that, that should do it. So quick fix, quick, discard resort. I see you leave the suit, double helix on field. Just quick fix, discard resort. And then we'll go into... Oh, I can just Code Breaker. Yeah, I can Code Breaker eventually. So I need to Monster Reborn my Master Plan. Because I got, if I turn two Quick Fixes into a Code Breaker, they have to stop it. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to Monster Reborn Master Plan. And that can still make uh, Axis Code Talker. So go to Selene. If they negate Selene, then that's fine. Yeah, I'm not used to having the code breakers like in going second scenarios, but it comes up. Activate Selene. Summon, I guess Master Plan doesn't matter. I'll do the Code Breaker line. Code Breaker summon from deck instead of adding to hand, so this is good enough. Yeah, Code Breaker's coming, uh, going second doesn't come up very often, but when it does, you gotta remember it. Force your opponents negates. Don't care about Link Rebo. Summon a Zero Day. to Virus Berserker. Yeah, if they're not getting this, I don't know what they're doing. They're just going to be dead. Like, the, vi the, the Code Breakers are what? Uh, 30, 46, 56, 66, 6900 damage. And then you can just go into an Axis Go Talker on the right hand side. New Selene, obviously. I mean, once you see the Imperm, once you know they've got Imperm, they, they, you, sh you should play around Imperm anyhow, but they're just dead anyways. So we'll just go ahead and summon Sleeper. No sense in not doing it. I did use Borg Blocker, so we do want to keep one resort in hand and Graveyard. Yeah, who cares about the Master Plan? So the Rescue Missions aren't mattering. I'm not going to be able to revive her anymore, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're dead! We Alright, so there we go. Going second into Brunic. A very unusual deck. Lots of Runic decks. I really probably should be on, like, Naturia Beast. And uh, maybe I'll do a little deck construction after this to show it, show off like, okay, but this is how you make Naturia Beast. I don't really want to do Naturia Beast because it requires a Soul Day, and a Soul Day is a lot worse without Illusion of Chaos to shuffle back your hard garnets, but, you know, that's whatever. Alright, hey, I want to coin flip, that's good. So game number three, I gotta go first. And that is combo. It's combo in a couple ways too, but hopefully it's not maxi. I do need this small world to get to soul, so we'll see how this goes. They got an ash. Nope. Okay, no ash. So we'll activate small world. Banish Suchinoko. Banish. Uh, so, uh, Mothman. This is why Mothman's in there, just so Sichinoko has can be small world of the way. Add souls. Activate souls. Special summon this card by sending Master Plan. The Royal Master Plan, of course. Why wouldn't you? 
And we'll go ahead and big red our master plan. Add two off of souls once we search our rescue mission. Actually, I probably should have gotten an assault mission and just straight up assaulted drone in, but eh, whatever. Alright, forbidden drops is fine. Small world is garbage, but uh. So uh, I think I want to link Kribo into double helix. Or link Kribo. Yeah. Just clear up, keep your zones cleared. You can cure us up here. So we'll do this. My opponent clearly doesn't have an ash, so I can kind of get away with this. You can make your board blocker later in the turn when you do this. Go ahead and make master plan. Use her effect. Add sleeper. Activate this. Ask commission master plan. Because I've because I've drawn my uh, uh the cards the way I have, I don't really. Don't worry about too much here. I can just go. There's there's very few ways you can't combo at this point. I've, I've even got this extra Nessie hanging out. Let's go ahead and get assault mission in hand. This card assault mission quick fix. I don't have like a spare revival effect hanging around, so I'm gonna have to summon master plan off helix, which is maybe my mistake. I could have gone to helix first and gotten around that, but it should not matter. I've got plenty of spells in graveyard, so Celine's not gonna be a problem. Go ahead and assault mission in. Drone. I should maybe uh, use my resort to add a super agent instead of a quick fix. Use drone's effect, just because a uh, oh, sorry a quick fix instead of a super agent. Oh, this is some dumb magical musket deck. Okay, well, put a trap card on top because who cares? Actually, put a Nibiru top. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to do anything with Nibiru. Uh, magical muskets are light monsters, I think. So I'm just gonna call light with Protoss. So go ahead and uh, activate this. I put the beer on top. Call monster. Oh, what am I saying? I can add quick fix. I can, I can just make Selene. Okay, we're just gonna make Selene. So I'll summon quick fix. Right over here. Use the effect. Add big red. Make a Selene. And they concede. Okay, well, I didn't get to show you the combo, but they realized what was going on. <laughs> All right, so uh, there we go. That's, uh, what, three games so far? Right, I, uh... Check my, let's check my logs so far. Let's check my uh, match history so far. That's it. Yeah, one, two, three. I've won all of them so far, yeah. So this is game number four. Let's see where this goes. And that's kind of the experience of Sparrow. Sometimes when your opponent realizes I'm not winning this, they just kind of concede. Like, there's a million things you can do, and it doesn't matter. All right, another coin flip loss. No biggie. You know, maybe we'll just draw for binge off to win, or maybe we'll lose, you know. It'd be good to get a loss in here. Can't just win every game. That's not realistic. You know, my channel is mostly me showing off games I win because I get to show off things like my thought process and why the game turned out this way, but... That's not always realistic, you know? Uh, all right, let's see what you got. And they're going to pass. Well, that's good for me, I guess. Uh, this is drone agent combo. So I'm gonna lead off with drone. Activate, see what they do. No responses. Oh, they're for the Wanderees. That makes sense. You can 100% draw a curse, still a forbidden spell. I want to activate small world, see if they have an ash. But to banish a Nessie, because I already have one in hand, and this Ash might come in handy if I uh, brick, or if uh, they do something. So we'll banish uh, the Mothman in this situation, because Mothman's a four-star. That'll get me to Super Agent. And Super Agent plus a Danger in hand is combo. Or Drone Agent combo plus with plus Danger should get you there for the most part. So there's a Cursed Silver Ridden Spill on top, so we're going to call this called Trap. Summon Helix. Activate. Call trap. 
And the reason I'm, uh, and you're going to, you're going to, when you have danger in hand, when you do this combo, you want to wait till you summon your master plan, add the mission, and then the danger, because that's, you're going to have, this is going to be the point where you have the most cards in hand that you don't mind discarding. Because after, after you uh, use your master plan graveyard effect, you are 100% going to have a card in hand you want to, dis you don't want to discard. So we're going to get assault mission so we can discard it with a board blocker at worst and summon quick fix. This card, Small World, is actually just fine, because uh, that's a dead card in our hand. I already used Small World once this turn, can't use it a second time. And you draw, yeah, sure, that's funny, but okay, so now, now with a, this is why the Drone Agent combo is plus danger as combo. This is another reason to run dangers, is uh, you keep your double hicks. If you didn't have a danger here, you have to link off your double helix to summon the quick fix, and that's no bueno. So we can go ahead and uh, Borg Blocker... This card assault and chain block master plan. Double ash is funny because if flu bricked once, uh, ash will brick them again. <laughs> they can't. I don't think they can possibly win this, to be honest. And flu is such a bad deck without statue. I don't know why people are playing it, but whatever. Okay, yeah, that's game. Okay. This is an easy OTK line. You don't even have to do the full Protoss combo. You just go Axis Code Sleeper, and that's what we're getting to in five or in like five or six more summons. So that's game number four. I mean, can I? Oops, I just I just noticed I stopped recording on accident. Uh, here we go. So I didn't get very far once I uh, got the recording going again. But this is my fifth game. I lost the coin flip. Let's see if I can lose a game. Happens sometimes. Well, this hand's not great. Uh, it's got a danger. It's got drone agent. But usually they can stop the terraforming, so that's a problem. Oops, set pass, set pass. Labyrinth, runic, something like that. I don't know why I'm seeing... I, I'm seeing so many labyrinth and runic decks, I really just need to be on, like, something else. <laughs> Uh, Terraforming is really good against the, against the targeted effects, but there's not always targeted effects. Are they going to ash me? Nope, okay. I mean, it's, they got set cards, so they can just be activating those. Of course, I had the shiny resort. Got to gotta flex on them. Okay, so this is combo, so I shouldn't complain too much. I should all fusion. Are they going to win to me? gonna win to me man is that really is that really the the life here you're just gonna win to me huh I will ash this because it's not gonna be a better ash target this game sick okay that's fine so I'm going to do something very unusual here it's going to be incredibly odd, but you're going to watch me... I should have some form of combo here, but it's not going to be very good. Alright, so I'm going to... So I've only got one special summon to out this. Oh, what the heck? I didn't see the... Okay, well, I couldn't stop that anyhow. So, I am going to... Hmm. I can just normal summon agent equip last resort and pass. But they can probably out my last resort very easily. Um, I can only special summon once. What I need is a drone. If I could have, I mean, I couldn't stop the freaking dragon. That's why they used should all fusion or else should all whatever. But uh, if I had another resort, that would do it. So what what can I do here? That just cannot out that card with only two special summons. Yeah, it's just... Super Agent Rescue Mission Passed is very bad. But that's what we're doing. The effect, call monster. Oh man, they're going to have an Aluber? That's just Mirror Jade and they win. Yeah, Window Pass beats you, man. A... Um... I messed up too because now I can't Mothman. Well, I, I can Mothman. I can Mothman just to draw a card. See what happens if I draw a a um. I need a snipe Mothman, of course. But if I draw a Forbidden Droplets, I can uh, win. So if this draws me Forbidden Droplets, I have a chance at winning. I do not have a chance at winning. I'm just gonna keep the Aluber. Oh yeah, this is just they can they can't mirror jade under well if they draw brand diffusion yeah normal summon brand diffusion lubelian this 
This is going to be the dumbest game of all time. I need to draw a drone. <laughs> drone on a... Uh, if, if I had been able to use that resort, I could have... Uh, drone agent... Uh, it, drone pump agent up above Winda, attack over Winda, and then set up like a freaking sleeper last resort combo. Because I could... Uh, I could equip the last resort or activate the danger, try to discard the rescue, whatever. Yeah, I'm just going to equip this and pass. They discarded the Alabaster, which is funny, but yeah, they can just... They can just beat me, really. They're going to normal summon a Luber, Branded Fusion. They only get one special summon in their window, but they can just Branded Fusion off the window. So that's just game. One-sided Floodgates, everyone. It's not going to Floodgate him in turn. It's his turn. It's only going to Floodgate me. But, you know, I play Protoss, so I can't complain too much. Sometimes you just lose the window. So, yeah, I mean, had to throw in a loss there at some point. That's not unusual. I can actually survive a little bit if they uh, if they uh, out my board by rescue missioning uh, Last Resort, which is very funny, but uh, they should have this very easily. Normal Summon a Luber, get Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion sends Shadal Winda and Albaz. Branded in red? Okay, I guess that does it too. Whatever. Like, this is such an easy line. This is an easy win for him. You just gotta use your, fu your Windows Fusion material. Maybe he doesn't understand that? Okay, yeah. He's gonna lick it off. There we go. Okay. Well, this is a terrible deck. This is a... Ho Branded with freaking DP bricks and all the Shadals as bricks is just an absolutely abysmally bad deck. But OCG players are just obsessed with Winda. When Tier Limits comes to the game, they're going to be playing Winda nonstop, even though it's not even the best version of the deck. They're just... They cannot help themselves but play Shadals. I don't know why. Like, the, the Shadals are so obscenely popular from OCG players, it's, it's insane. But yeah, this is game. They're going to do an entire board instead of DPE, and that should just lethal me. But maybe they're stupid, and uh, this is going to be a J of my super agent. <laughs> I was like, maybe they're stupid. They, they, they're not going to summon DP. I guess they only have the freaking Verte in there to summon to use Branded Fusion. Good lord. Yeah, they're, they're this is just not very good. So they're gonna they're gonna mirror jade banish my super agent. They didn't. What is this guy doing? This guy's playing so badly. He's only doing. God, I could actually win this game if I if I draw well. This is insane. Yeah, you can't attack, dude. You use branded in red. This guy's so bad. What the f fuck? Can't believe I'm losing to this. I've only got one spiral name in graveyard blast resort, so I can't do a whole lot. And that, and that Shadal Fusion should kill me, but given what this guy's done, who knows? Uh, maybe if he's dumb, he'll activate this Mirror Jade on my uh, Magician Souls. He conceded? What the hell? He has Mirror Jade. Okay, well, I guess I went to 5-0. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed that. If if you did, like, comment, and subscribe for more daily replays. I shouldn't have gone 5-0 there, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Anyhow, see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.